Right now, I'm working on a new stencil for behind home plate. We've made multiple stencils out of like plastic, stuff like that, but now I'm just gonna make one out of wood, so we have one that'll last. I'd say probably just watching professional baseball games. You'll see a lot of times they have their team logo on the back of the mound, and I just kind of threw that idea out there to Jake, and he just kind of let me run with it. This is my sixth year here. I've worked here ever since I was a freshman in high school. Every year, Jake's kind of given me a little more leeway, and this is kind of what it's turned into. I go to University of Toledo, and I major in graphic design, so this is why I kind of like doing this stuff. Well, with all the Mud Hens logos, the different logos between this, the just regular Mud Hen, the feather, we just kind of ran through what would be the best for behind home plate, what would be the biggest, but not too big. So we came up with this, and then next, we'll have to scale this down onto a piece of wood. And that took a decent amount of time just trying to figure everything out and then just kind of hand draw it out. And now it's just cutting all these little pieces, so just the nitty gritty work. Before games, we'll get pregame all loaded up and I'll go ahead and walk this out and we'll mix up a couple buckets of different colors of conditioner and we'll use that for this logo. We'll set this down and we'll use chalk and our actual Mud Hens color so it's the exact logo of the Mud Hens. Conditioner is the little rock, I guess you could say, that we put on top of the infield. It, that's probably the best way to describe it, is a little rock. Idea doesn't take too long, but just drawing it out and cutting it, that's kind of taking the longest. I started this four days ago, and I mean, with us having stuff to do all the time, I haven't been able to work on it nonstop, so hopefully I can get it finished up here on the fourth day.